Just what are chipotle peppers and how do I make them? Well, in this video, you're gonna learn how to make your own chipotle seasoning using your smoker, grill, or oven. You're gonna love this recipe. Now, chipotle is smoked in usually dried jalapeno peppers, and of course, jalapenos are part of the chili pepper species. Now, I'm gonna start with about two pounds of jalapenos. Now, normally, red jalapenos would be your first choice, but they may not be available in your area at all times of the year. So you could do what I did. You can pick up some green jalapenos. These will work just fine. Now keep in mind as usual that I'm showing you a way to do this. There's many variations of making chipotles, but the basic principle is to smoke the jalapenos for about three hours and then continue to dry them out until they're pretty much dry as they can be. And you do this using very low heat. Now, as I said earlier, you can use your grill, your oven, or smoker to make chipotles. And so I had to decide which cooker that I'd use to make mine. Now, a lot of people start out using their primary smoker, then they finish them on a dehydrator or in the oven. You don't want to spend a lot of money on wood pellets or charcoal when you're smoking $2 worth of peppers. Now, in my case, I eliminate my propane grill, my charcoal grills, and my pellet smoker, as I said, because of the fuel costs. Fortunately, I had an electric smoker. This is an excellent choice. It's very, very efficient and very cost-effective. So I'm adding about six ounces of hickory chunks to the firebox. You can use pecan, hickory, oak, or it's a good idea to wear gloves if you're sensitive to the peppers. And I'm just going to lay the peppers out on the rack with the stems intact. I'm keeping mine whole. But keep in mind that cutting them in half and removing the seeds in the core can control the heat. I'm going to set the temperature somewhere between 175 and I'll smoke for three to four hours. Okay, this is what they look like after four hours of smoking. After you smoke three to four hours, then bump up that temperature to 200 degrees or so. If you choose to finish on a dehydrator or oven, then do it now. I'm coming back tomorrow and then we'll check our progress. But since this is a very slow process, we don't have to monitor it real close. And I'm going to sleep good tonight because I'm not going to be worried about it. All right, we're back the next day and this is the first inspection. And you can see that some of these peppers still have a little bend to them. So we're going to continue to march for the next couple of hours on 200 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, it looks like these peppers are done after about 24 hours. Store in an airtight container, or you can give them a grind. I'm on a rough grind in a blender, and then I'll finish them off in my spice grinder. Holy seasoning is ready to use in your next recipe. Now, all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and watch my next video on pinto beans. You can even spice them up with a little chipotle seasoning. You gotta love this recipe. Oh, <laughs>